A rain-soaked homecoming didn't dampen spirits for hundreds of sailors and their families. Both the USS Winston Churchill and USS Forrest Sherman returned to Naval Station Norfolk this morning. The guided missile destroyer spent eight months away from familiar surroundings and loved ones. Down on your side, Joe Fisher watched families reunite here side today, and he's here now with more. Joe? Deanna, the USS Forrest Sherman and Winston Churchill, both stationed in Norfolk, are part of the larger Theodore Roosevelt Carrier Strike Group. And while sailors tell me they're proud of their accomplishments at sea, since March, they're thrilled to be home. Hi! <laughs> it's the reaction fire controlman Michael Jimenez says he's looked forward to since the moment he left. Uh, Daddy! Yeah! <laughs> it's pretty awesome coming home to family. Uh, that's always good. Hey! Jimenez, along with 300 others on the USS Winston Churchill and 300 more sailors on the USS Forrest Sherman, deployed eight months ago to the Middle East and Mediterranean Sea. It's always better the next time. So with more kids, more family. His 22-month-old daughter is now talking. His four-year-old son now running. The family of four back together again. The 242 days he's been gone are all worth this moment. It's his fifth and final deployment, their third as a married couple. Karen Jimenez says while this moment is one of bliss, she's happy he's home for good. So when daddy left, she had just turned a year, so he's missed quite a bit, but he'll catch up. The smiles and the hugs from thousands at Naval Station Norfolk Saturday overshadowed the overcast skies and heavy downpours. Worth the weather. I'm telling you, if it was a hurricane, I would be out here. <laughs> Commander of the Churchill, Paul Allgaier, says he's proud of his crew, who traveled 64,000 miles and visited six ports, from Bahrain to Dubai, Greece, and Spain. And so what we did was we worked with our partners and our allies uh, to maintain security, uh, maintain the peace, and uh, deter those who would alter that. A crew proud of themselves, proud to serve their country, and just happy to be back on American soil. Reporting in Norfolk, I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.